Hey folks, welcome to another Satella Wave tutorial. Recently, version 0.4 was released, and it has a few updates. But for today, I will just start with the most important update, which was the ability to add event plazas of your own customization. So, to start this up, we are going to use the tools up here. We Obviously, Satella Wave's there. We're going to use MS Paint because, you know, every computer has it. Super Famicom Conf is an application that is on aromhacking.net, which lets you make graphics for the Super Famicom format that will work with Satella Wave. And obviously, we're going to use SNES 9X like we did before. So, let's start with uh, MS Paint here. So, how I usually set this up is a canvas 64 by 112 that is the exact canvas size that <clears throat> that is the exact canvas size that uh, Satella Wave wants. I have a gray background to match the background on the Satella Wave's Event Plaza editor, and that seems to work for the transparency. Now, for what graphic we're going to use, I was requested to make an Earthbound Event Plaza, so I looked into uh, Spider's resources and decided the UFO would be a good pick. So, uh, let's, uh, throw in the UFO. And then we get rid of the, uh, you know, purple there. Give it the alpha channel. And then we save the picture as a, you know, PNG image file. And after that part, we go into, uh, the hard part, which is converting the image with Super Famicom Conf. So... For that, we are going to go into a command prompt. So, let me, uh... <laughs> let me just type in the, uh, directory for my Super Famicom. Ugh. I made it way too long. Oh, well. So, yeah. Uh... Super Famicom's commands are right here. Let me scroll up. The ones we are going to be using are slash I, slash P, slash T, and slash M. So, let's scroll. Get that up there again. Okay. So, slash I is our input file. And the rest of the files are outputs. The outputs are tile, palette, and map. You could probably set these file names however you want, but I usually set it to match the file name of the file I'm converting so that, you know, I don't lose track of what I'm doing. And you do that, you press enter. Hopefully your uh hopefully this works after that. If it doesn't, check your Windows admin privilege. I've had some folks on my Discord wonder why this wasn't working, and it seemed to immediately fix when I told them to try running as admin. So yeah, after that set step, um we are going to load up Satella Wave. Now, give me a moment. I'm going to be doing a monitor capture here because otherwise stuff here can get kind of difficult to capture correctly. So, yeah, I have Satella Wave open. What we're going to do is, obviously enough, hit the Create Event Plaza Expansion button because that's our new feature. Let's give it a name to match what we're putting in. And here, here is the uh, plaza editor. So to import the graphic we just converted, we are going to do import Super Famicom graphics. And there, this pop-up comes up. So here we're going to import ufo.pal for 16-bit palette. UFO.tile for 8x8 eight eight tile graphic data and UFO.map 
for building tile mat. And there, if it was all done correctly, here is your, um, your event plaza, basically. So, let's start with some tweaks here. Well, maybe I guess the better phrase would be to do some tweaks here. The first thing I'm going to do is add a door. Now, I usually make my doors excessively large because I don't actually know how the mechanics of the doors work in finer detail. I think how it is is that, like, if you're on the red tile and you hold up <coughs> and press A, then, you know, it does the interaction with the event plaza. I think that's what it is, but yeah. Speaking of which, here is the uh, collision editor. This is very straightforward. You click on these, they turn pink. When they're pink, that means they're collision. Oh. Screwed up there. You also have these options for a diagonal collision and over to player. Over to player means that the top that if the player like goes through the tiles, then you know, it'll he'll like be like the layer will be that he's uh You know, over it rather than under it. Anyway, so let's set some more collisions. Uh, and here's Tile Set Editor. If you want to edit the tiles after you import the graphics, you can do things like mess around with the palettes, or you know. Various other actions, but I usually don't touch this because if you imported the graphic correctly, there shouldn't be much you need to do there. Animation editor is used if you want to make an animated version of your uh, event plaza. And that is kind of a bit more advanced. You need to make the tile. You basically, you need to make the animated part of your plaza and like import it as its own separate set of tiles. Like I, I think that's what Luigi Bug told me. Anyway, yeah, you can... So, here you can add frames, you can insert frames, you can delete frames. And yeah, you, the way the animation works... Let me let me just do, mess around with it a bit to show how it works. Like, let's say... Yeah, I can throw these in, these tiles in for the next frame, and then there's another frame, and I throw in the next thing of tiles. And, you know, that's that's the gist of it, but... Oh, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. So, let's see. No, no, no. No, no, no. So, here, I'm gonna try something. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm screwing it up already. that oh geez well anyway mm. I'm not sure I have my alpha channel correct now well anyway see what's well hopefully I got this all heck set up correctly so yeah if I did this 
if I did this kind of correctly, then I guess... The ship should move a bit? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm doing something. Of course, I'm using a tutorial video to try to do something I didn't actually do before, which could be a disaster. Anyway, now that we're done doing that, let's do a new folder, make the ev building set at Event Plaza. Where is it? Oh, duh, it's further down. Alright. Space. And for now, let's just uh, try exporting that into the SAT data directory. Okay, so now hopefully I don't need monitor capture anymore. Let's uh, open up SNES 9X now. And see how this went. No, on my luck, it probably became a disaster. Because I... Tr <laughs> anyway, let's connect. So... Yeah. Uh, that turned out a bit jankier than I was hoping for, but... Here we have a spaceship kind of bobbing up and down. Hold on, for some reason my text box isn't working. Okay, what did I do here? Hold on, maybe it might be a problem with this building in particular. Give me a moment. Let me try re-plopping in the Pepsi Man building and see if that fixes it. Okay, the Pepsi Man building works. So, hold on, so, okay, let's bring back out... Bring back out UFO instead of the Pepsi. And it doesn't work with UFO. Okay, I'm probably going to need to report this to Luigi Bud because it seems like it's a bug. Well, anyway... I guess that ends the tutorial for now. Sorry for the technical issues. Um, I will get back to you all later with more uh, notes on the updates to Satellawave.